Hello and welcome to the Bagline Report. My name is Carlos Torres and along with Fred Alvader, we check in on the world of golf to bring you the latest news, insights, analysis, interviews, recaps, previews, and we cover anything and everything off. In other words, if it happened in golf, we have it for you. Fred, we have to talk about the PGA Tour. Uh, there, there's some news just coming Just throwing money, just throwing money away. They are, they are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the PGL, I think. What is this storyline about? Hey, uh, today on uh, in ESPN, uh, there was a report that uh, the, the PGA Tour next year in 2022, 2021, 2022, is going to pay a $50,000 bonus to every player that plays at least 15 sanctioned events. Now, wait a minute, Carlos. Wait a minute. 15, you ask. Why 15? 15 tournaments is the required amount for a PGA Tour player to compete in just to keep his card. So if you're going to play in 15, we're going to give you $50,000. Well, that'll cover a little bit of some caddy fees and hotel money, maybe. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. But, uh, you know, what? what is going on here? What in the wild, wild sports is going? They're paying them just for doing something they have to do anyhow. Uh, that is amazing to me. Uh, oh, by the way. Ryder Cup and President's Cup and those kind of things, they all count. So, you know, no problem with there. Also, Carlos, they got so much money. We're going to raise the Players' Championship from a $15 million purse to what? $20 million. That's, I'm not real good at math, but that's pretty much a 25% increase, I believe. That's not bad. Given the inflation rate at what, about 2% right now? That's not bad. Um, we don't need any stinking uh, government money uh, uh, for that. We, we'll just, we'll, we got our own money. We're okay. The winner is going to get $3.6 million. We're not far away from regular tour events paying $5 million to the winner, Carlos. We're, we're going to see that, you know, in the next few years. Um, this is all on top of total purse in excess of $350 million for the year. 350 million for about 45 tournaments, Carlos. Uh, plus, that's not counting the 70 million dollars in bonuses that the FedEx Cup payout playoffs pay. Uh, there's so much money on the PGA Tour right now; it's obscene. So, why would they do this? You ask. Well, I think the only thing I can really come up with: they're still afraid of the Premier Golf League is still sneaking around out there a little bit. And they want to try and do anything they can do to counter that uh, and to keep them uh, keep them kind of cold back in the uh, back in the, uh, uh, you know, not in not in uh, up in where their players are going to try and switch. So where does this end? I have no clue, Carlos. This just amazed me when this came out. Uh, and oh, by the way, this is with no Tiger and no Phil Mickelson, who's kind of on the way out of the regular tour. So. These young guys, we got to watch Patrick Canley. We got Colin Morikawa, Xander Shoffley, and some of these other young guys. They got to carry this thing. They do. And Phil is, you know, batting 750 right now in the in the Champions <laughs> Tour. So he might be like, now they're doing this fifty thousand uh, dollars. I'll have to just play fifteen times. And you forgot something. One first, the increase on the Players Championship is thirty three percent. Because it's a five million out of fifteen, so it's thirty-three. Uh, oh, that's okay. a huge raise. And also, we forget to mention that they have this PIP fund, right? The Player Impact yeah. Program, forty yeah. million dollars for the top ten players. Something that they didn't announce last year. There was a golf week who broke it uh, because they wanted to keep it under wraps, right? This is just for you guys to know. But uh, yeah. I, I, this is definitely the, the PGL. They want to make sure that no player will have any incentive to go there. And if you come to see it right now, what is the PGL going to be able to do to bring those players to play for them? Because the PGA Tour is giving them all the money they, they will be expecting from the PGL. The PGL definitely won't have, don't have the history. Uh, the tournaments are already here. The PGL doesn't have the majors what would the PGL do? I mean, I just, after this, I don't think that we should be even talking about the PGL anymore, but I'm sure that the PGA Tour will come up with something 
and throw some more money out. And uh, you know how Kieran is going to feel about that, right? More money for the yeah. rich. Yeah. <laughs> for the richer, the richer gets richer. That's what he says. Uh, but definitely, it's ridiculous the amount of money that they're throwing out. But there's just one thing. If you come to think about it, it's just the PGL. There's nothing else, no other reason that they're doing this. Got a question for you, Carlos. And we've kind of bounced this around before a little bit. Um, they're paying all this money out to the PGA Tour guys. Wouldn't it be better, number one, you could take some of this money that's being paid at the top and pay the bottom guys just a little bit more, you know, spread the percentage out down at the bottom end of the field. Just, you know, you, you know, you can still have the cut and all this kind of thing. You know, they've gone from 70 to 65 and all this kind of thing. And even some they're, you know, cutting now at 54 or whatever. Um, wouldn't it be better if they maybe spread this money out just a little bit rather than paying it all to top or number two, taking some of this money and moving it down to the, uh, the corn ferry tour. Uh, Cause those guys, I mean, I know they're, you know, at the entry level and they're trying to make their way up. And so you want to keep that incentive there, but um you know, it just seems like they're top loading this thing onto the top end of these tournaments. And so you've got the, the top 15 or 20 guys that are really going to benefit from this. I know that's the ones they're trying to keep, you know, keep their hands on and keep away from the PGL. But, man, it just it looks like they're creating a problem. I would think the rest, the rank and file of the PGA Tour, because the, 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 we're not talking about the top guys here. The PGA Tour is, you know, the other 150 guys that it's their job and they're trying to make a living here. So they still have a voice in this thing. I, I, I'm surprised that they let this go on. Now the worry and the, the, the challenge here is would people really dig this? Is it something that is going to inspire more people to keep watching golf? Because I see that they're concentrating so much. Like you're saying, we've talked about this before. They're concentrating on giving more and more money to the top players but you're forgetting about those players on the bottom that are really making the tour be what it is right now. Because yes, you have the, the, the ones that make the money and the, the headlines and all that. But if you don't make it a versatile product, people are just going to get bored. And just by throwing out money, people are going to be like, yeah, but you're not paying me. You're paying them. I don't care what you're paying them. I want to see a better product. And that's going to be the challenge that's going to happen because the LPGA, we've seen it. I mean, they have a great product. Unfortunately, they don't get the attention that they should be getting. Uh, they have all top to bottom. They know how to, to treat their players from top to bottom well. Uh, and that's something that the PGA Tour should learn from. But I, I'm worried that at some point, people are going to start just tuning out because this is not really appealing to them. Yep. I, and I have to agree. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I have all the answers, but it just seems like we keep paying these top 20 guys, 25 guys, and there's another 150 or 175 guys out there that, that uh, you know, could, uh, could, could use a few table scraps as well. They could. And, uh, hey, this is not going to be the last time that we're going to be doing this. I think we are just going to keep – talking and talking. I mean, and we have talked to Kieran as well when he comes in. Same thing happening in the European tour. Everything is top feeding and uh, we'll see. Hopefully they can think about something. Maybe our world tour idea could be there and give some more monies to some of the feeder tours, make it a better competition. I don't know. We'll see. Like you said, we don't have all the answers, but hopefully they can think about that. And hey, you guys have our numbers. We, just give we us can a help call. them. We can help them with that. We can help. Yeah. Anytime. Just give us a call. Zoom call. We can go there. We work it's cheap. Okay. We <laughs> <laughs> and they have money and they can pay it. They can pay we're it. We're not they easy, but we're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also on Twitter. Follow us at Pac Nine Report with the number nine in the middle. So you can stay on top of the latest in golf news and information. Thank you for joining.